in a Fox 23 investigation, it's an old scam with a new twist using new technology, artificial intelligence. Tells us investigative reporter Dana Clark has what you need to know to protect yourself and your loved ones. This is a scam you've probably already heard about, or maybe you've even gotten one of these phone calls. Someone calls you and tries to scare you into giving them money. They say a loved one is hurt or needs help, something like that. Now it's the same scam, but it seems more real because the person on the call sounds just like your loved one. Artificial intelligence or AI. It could be helpful or hurtful. It depends on who is using the technology. Voice cloning. Truman Kane, a cybersecurity expert with Huntress, says bad guys are using AI in a bad way. It's like phishing when someone tries to trick you in an email, but instead they use their voice on a phone call, and it's called voice phishing or vishing. Explain the scam to me. Sure. What we're seeing as a result of AI is voice cloning. So it's now possible with just a few minutes of time, an attacker can set up a voice clone of, of, of someone who you may know and trust. As long as there's uh, even 15 seconds of audio of them available to the attacker, they can clone that voice and they can make a call to whoever they want and spoof the number of, of the person that they're, that they're claiming to be. And now, let's say an elderly target is getting a call that looks like it's coming from their grandchild's phone and it sounds like their grandchild and they're being asked to to give money or or to do something else so now you're getting a phone call from someone who you, you think it's the number you recognize you think it's the voice you recognize that's scary yeah with the rise of ai the vigilance factor is going to need to be in, increased quite a lot and here's how good voice cloning can be i used artificial intelligence to clone my voice just to see how it sounds so you can hear the difference listen and see what you think and here's how good voice cloning can be. I used artificial intelligence to clone my voice just to see how it sounds so you can hear the difference. See what you think? Wow, sounds just about the same, at least to me. What do you think? Imagine now getting a phone call from your loved one. It's a new twist on an old scam that often targets the elderly, and the scammer is after financial information or your passwords. We see this happen with, with the elderly, uh, and it's going to happen a lot more, where they will get a call from someone claiming to be their, their grandchild who is in a tough spot and needs money, and now with this voice blending technology, that's just going to become rampant. How is somebody going to be able to know who this grandparent is, know who this grandchild is, clone that grandchild's voice, and then play it back with this grandparent? How do they do that? I know it sounds crazy and complex, it, but it really is surprisingly simple and easy. Uh, if, for example, your Facebook is open, you don't have it locked down, and so anyone can kind of peruse your profile. And if there's even 15 seconds of audio freely available on the internet, of the person whose voice you're trying to emulate, that can be enough. It's not too difficult to get people's information uh, these days, especially if they're not locking down their social media. Another reason why parents should have their kids make their profiles private. Certainly. There's really no good reason for people to have their social media just unlocked and open. Lock it down, get those privacy settings locked down. There's It, it can only uh, benefit you. Another way you can work with your loved ones to battle the scam, Truman says, come up with a shared code word. Somebody gets a phone call and it sounds like their friend or their loved one and they need help. How do What do they do? I mean, how do they know, is this really my friend, my loved one, or is this AI? If you Taking the paranoid approach and you've done the legwork beforehand to kind of create a kind of code word with with this person, then, then that's what you would use in that situation. If you haven't, then the best thing to do is try to kind of confirm with them out of band or use another method to confirm that they are who they say they are. Truman says if you're talking on the phone, you can try texting the person or you can ask the person on the phone a question that only your loved one would know the answer, something personal. Covering news that matters, Jana Clark, Fox 23 News. Do you have a tip or issue that you think Jana Clark should investigate? Let us know. Email fox23investigates at fox23.com or call 918-388-5354 or search Fox 23 Jana Clark on Facebook.